Okay, guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use a long section. So you should all have a copy of your notes in front of you, and you should do this in pencil. So, what we did was we did a survey outside, and the three groups did a survey, and we recorded the ground level from these 12.5 meters, and we did the calculations to work out what those ground levels are. Okay. So first and foremost, we have this table here, okay, and we took our levels every 12 and a half meters starting from zero, okay. So the first thing you'll do is you will basically start and populate your your table and you'll just write this in um, on pencil. So you'll start to complete this every 12 and a half meters. Etc. Etc. And you'll do that right until the end. And in fact, the last one you can just slot in just before the end of the table if need be. Okay. Now going back to the height of collimation sheet or the level sheet that we took outside, and we did the calculations on. You will then put then input those. Those are the ground levels. So you'll input those as so here. And I'm going to use one groups as an example. Sixty-eight point one seven one. Etc. Etc. Um, and the level corresponded to twelve point five. So that group was sixty seven point nine eight one. So there probably won't be a massive variation in the results as we go along. Now, what I have done is I have given you an, a long section that horizontally is scaled one to three hundred. So in order for us to get our hundred meter survey onto an A three sheet, I scaled that down by three hundred times. Okay. The vertical scale that we're going to use today is going to be 1 to 50. Okay, and what that means is we're going to have to scale vertically, so we're going to have to plot our ground levels on at a vertical scale of 1 to 50. Um, now, the way we do this is we're not plotting on the entire 68 vertical meters that we have measured. <clears throat> we're going to plot on roughly about 8 metres to 10 metres of that there, okay? And we do this using what we call a datum. And for our datum here, we're going to make the datum 60 metres, okay? <clears throat> and what that means is we have our vertical, our horizontal scale, and that's going from 0, 12.5, 25, right up to 100 metres. And that's been scaled down by 300. What we're going to do is we're just going to plot on. We, we obviously we won't need all 68 meters of that there to do a drainage design. So we're going to use roughly about an 8 meter portion of this here. Okay. So what we're doing is we're using a datum level. And that's your datum level heading up. So the top line of your box is always your datum level within your, your long section. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to, to scale this down, okay? And the way we do this here is I'm just going to pop some text up on the screen. E text. Uh, and I'll just start over here somewhere. Just so that you can follow this, okay? And basically, what we want to know is what is the difference between your ground level and your datum? Well, that's very simple. It's 68.171 minus 60. And that obviously equals 8.171. Okay. So that's the portion that we are going to plot on this graph. Now we're going to plot 8 meters on this graph at a scale of 1 to 50. Okay. So we take our 8.171. And I probably should have put my units in up there. 8.171 meters, multiply that by 1, and then divide that by 50, 1 divided by 50, and the answer that gives us is 0 0.16342, and we'll give it the unit this time, meters, okay, and that's equivalent to 
16.34 centimeters or 163 millimeters. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to plot on 163 millimeters on your graph from this point here. So you will get a ruler, you'll measure up 163 millimeters and you'll just draw a line up to that point. Okay, now as you can see on my CAD screen here, uh, mine's at full scale, so I'm going to use 16. Okay, and you just draw a line up like so. Okay, if we follow that same formula for the next one, you don't necessarily need to show the working out for this here in your assignment, but 67.981 minus 60 will give us 7.981. Okay. 7.981 times 1 divided by 50. Let me just work that out. Is equal to 0.15962 meters. Okay, which is. 15.96 centimeters or essentially when it rounds up 160 millimeters okay so you move on to the next one and you'll measure up on your drawing with a ruler either 15.96 centimeters or 160 millimeters okay and in my case here that will be okay now what you will do is you will do that for each and every level as you move right across the sheet and when you're complete you'll draw a line and you'll just join the dot to dots along and it will show the ground falling away roughly something as shown here and that's just a very rough estimate but it's falling away from zero to 100 meters where we completed the survey and once you have that complete, we can then move on pl plotting on the invert levels.